Good morning, you guys. Welcome back. I'm Maya with Simply Bloom. So today I am planting at this little triangle here at the entrance of my yard when you first pull into my driveway. It is currently drizzling right now. We're supposed to get two and a half, over two and a half inches, like 2.7 inches of rain in the next 24 hours, which is incredible. We need the moisture. I love rainy days. Especially, it makes the garden look so good after a good rainfall. So, I have a flat of Easy Wave petunias, mainly purples or blue. You know, it looks purple to me, but it's called blue. And then I have white and yellow and one pink in here. And I thought I would just do just waves here. Um, this is horrible soil here, absolutely horrible horrible it's pretty much gravel and the last couple years i've planted annuals here they have struggled because the soil is so bad so i have two containers on either side of my arbor that i'm not planning on potting up and um, i'm all about repurposing this year trying to save a little money when i can i thought i would dig out holes of where i'm going to put the petunias fill the holes with the potting soil from the containers. That's pretty new potting soil, so I'm not too concerned about it lacking nutrients. So I'm gonna throw that in with the petunias. I'm gonna throw in a little uh, biotone fertilizer, which I need to go get. And we're gonna plant these in the potting mix in the ground, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go grab a shovel, the biotone, and we're gonna get started. Okay, you guys, all done. So, as you probably saw, <laughs> I was trying to do this with my dog out here, and um, any of the tones, Espoma fertilizers, dogs love go nuts over. So I had to put him inside. Let me kind of explain what I did. You probably saw where I dug out a hole with a shovel, 
And then I took the potting soil from those two barrels and I know people are gonna come at me <laughs> and say I need to use fresh soil or compost. I'm on maternity leave. I did not get paid for my maternity leave. So I'm trying to cut costs where I can. And like I explained, <laughs> uh, those soil and those barrels were pretty recent. And I added more fertilizer. So that's why I did what I did. Soil is expensive. I'm trying to save money where I can, make things stretch a little bit, being wise. So after I dug the hole, I took the potting soil out of the pots, put them in the hole to make like little planters and petunia roots do not go far. If you've ever planted petunias and you pull the petunias out at the end of the season, like their roots barely spread at all. It always amazes me that it can support such a massive plant on top with such a little root system. So I'm thinking with the little bowls that I created with potting soil, I don't even think the roots will reach the native ground soil. So that's what I did. I did for some reason miscount. I thought I had one more for the very tip, but maybe that's okay because um, like delivery drivers, I mean, it's pretty narrow. So the driver goes that way and that way. And I had a few big trucks run over <laughs> my plants that were planted in the very tippy tip. Um, so I might, I do have more petunias. I was saving those for hanging baskets. I might steal one to put in there. Otherwise, I'll just leave it this year and we'll see. It might be better for the plants if I don't have one right there. So I have them spaced about 12-ish inches apart. I don't even know, like, how big are they suggested to get? Does it say? Oh, well, it says they'll spread 30 to 39 inches. But wait, that doesn't make sense. But to space 10 to 15 inches apart. I thought spread and spacing was the same. <laughs> Well, anyways, I spaced them about 12 inches apart. So hopefully they should fill in pretty nicely. I do have some two emerald, I think it's emerald pink creeping phlox. I don't know. I'm debating if I want to take those out and just do, I, I'll leave them for now. But um, I'm thinking eventually I'd like to move those elsewhere and just do annuals here. Because it's the first thing that you see when people drive in and I want a big kapow spot that is it for this video i have to run back inside my husband's getting ready to leave for work so i get to spend the day with the kiddos and i'm just excited for a rainy day i like rainy days so i hope you all have a great day and i'll see you next time bye